Hey everybody, Hatcher here with gaming news, reviews, and tips. And today I want to show you how you can assign VR Zoom uh, in DCS World to your Thrustmaster TWCS throttle. So here's a quick look of what we're trying to do. Again, I'm using the Thrustmaster TWCS throttle. I'm using the Rift S VR headset. And what I want to be able to do is push a button, take my hand off that button, and be able to zoom in on a display like this. And then I want to have the other side of the toggle or the other side of the button to be able to push, let go, and then I zoom back out so that I can look around and quickly zoom in on any of my monitors, um, uh, maybe even down here on my control panel. Uh, but this is exactly what we're trying to accomplish. I find it particularly useful on the HUD display, especially when I'm doing CCIP bombing, so that I can zoom in and see those tiny targets as I dive in and try and get a bead on them. So let's take a look at what we need to do in order to set this up in game. Okay, so let's take a look here in the DCS World software. This is where we're going to have to start in order to make some changes. And so when you take a look here at the settings in DCS World, you know, we have a VR tab, um, but really we don't have anything in there that allows us to um, do anything with controls. So we have to go to the controls tab and then go to the UI layer. Uh, and then when you go down to UI layer, you'll see down here toggle VR zoom. And so in this case, I've sent it to my number pad star or asterisk or the time sign on the number pad. And uh, if, you're, if you weren't using the throttle, if I was just to push that key on my keyboard and let it go, it would zoom in. And as soon as I took my finger off the key, it would zoom back out. And so you'd have to keep your finger pressed uh, that entire time in order to stay zoomed in. And the functionality that I want is I want to be able to be wearing my VR headset. I want to be like, oh, I need to look more closely at that monitor. I'm going to push my paddle. I'm going to zoom in and then be able to use my hands and fingers for whatever it is I need to do. I don't have to keep holding that button in. And then, oh, I want to zoom back out. I need to look at my heads up display or whatnot. Uh, then I can push the left hand paddle to zoom back out. So anyway, the first place to start here is go into your keyboard assignments and choose a key binding for toggle VR zoom. And uh, then we can just go OK. And then we're going to need to switch over to the uh, Thrustmaster graphics unit interface software. And we'll have to set uh, that up there. OK. So now we're here, we're here in the Target Command Center. So this is the Thrustmaster software, and all of your Thrustmaster products will be shown in here. In this case, what I want to do is uh, you want to create a new configuration, and I'm going to show you my configuration uh, first, but you'll create a new configuration for the TWCS throttle. So let's go ahead and take a look at the one that I've made. It's still called Test. And when I click edit, you're going to be able to see what the settings are. So it basically runs you through the same screens if you're either creating or editing um, a profile or a configuration. So this will be the first screen. You select the different uh, Thrustmaster products that you want involved in this particular profile or configuration. So I've got the throttle check marked here. And then we go next. This is so that you can configure your axes, but we don't need to do anything on this screen uh, at this point in time. Uh, we'll just leave those axes assigned as they are. So we click next. Take, it shows you the button assignments over here. And so the button that we actually want to mess around with is going to be the paddle right here. So this is the paddle right here, the TRDR. So it's uh, the Thrustmaster rudder, essentially. <clears throat> and so when we take a look here, you'd actually click on it and drag it into this area here. If we take a look at the settings that I've actually got set for my zoom in and zoom out for VR, you can click on it here. And uh, what I've done is uh, you take your zoom in and zoom out, and it's actually on AxMap 1. I should uh, clarify that, AxMap 1. So the event name is going to be whatever you want to name it. doesn't matter. Zoom in, zoom out. Um, you've got the up key, the center key, and the down key. All of these need to have... Um, a value assigned to them, um, and that value can be null when you click on the keyboard uh, assignments. So the up key I've got set as null, the center key I've got set as null, and the down key I've got keypad and star, okay? And uh, then you add the event and that'll go in here. And what th that has done is now when I push down on or on the right side of the rudder, 
it's going to engage the button as the star and I'll be zoomed in and then as long as I don't push anything else I'm going to stay zoomed in and then when I want to zoom back out I push the left hand side of the rudder and that's actually pulling me back out so essentially what we have now is when we push the right hand side of the rudder it depresses the key and it keeps it pressed for us while we look around and do whatever we want and whenever we want to bring that key back up we push the left hand side of the rudder um, thereby allowing you to zoom in and use your look, have close up view uh, during VR. Now the one thing to keep in mind is uh, you do need to, so if I'm going to finish this off here I go finish, yes, now you're going to need to go ahead and run this program so make sure you click on it and click run and at this point, it's going to run uh, the settings that we have, so you won't be able to make any other changes to your button assignments while it's running. You'll have to stop the profile. But at this point in time, we'd have our rudder actually set up, or that rudder button set up and ready to go as our zoom in and zoom out for VR. So one thing to keep in mind is that the four hat switches, uh, or the three hat switches and the one stick that are now on the throttle, uh, these will no longer be able to be assigned in the DCS software. You're going to actually have to take uh, hat switch three, hat switch one, hat switch two, and also the stick that's on the front and the depress function that's on the front of the throttle. None of these will, uh, will you be able to configure directly in DCS. So what you'll need to do is assign a key binding uh, through the target software to each one of these uh, keys. You can see I've done that over here and then make that correspond in the DCS software to the key binding that you want from the keyboard. I'll post another video uh, on how to do that. Fairly straightforward. Hope this video has helped you out. If you did, if, if you did find it useful, please subscribe, give me a like, give me a comment, uh, and hope to see you in DCS world.